Reporting for duty, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> now all I need is a fresh patty. Some dumbbell put this thing in the way. No, I do not want a Krabby Patty. Time for a scary story, boys. So go on, Scram, shoot, take a hike. SpongeBob. Hey. <laughs> I'm Tom Kenny, and I am SpongeBob SquarePants. My name is Bill Fagerbacke, and I get to play Patrick Starr. Let us begin. <laughs> Top one. of the show. The table read is uh, where the actors show up before the recording session. You come and you read the script aloud around a table for the first time with the other actors. With the Krusty Krab, SpongeBob steps from the freezer and says, Ah, nothing like a fresh frozen Krabby Patty with extra freezer burn flavor. Table reads um, are, are, are nice to really kind of clarify exactly what we're doing. And we hear Patrick thinking, yeah, 42, no, 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 triangle, meatballs, spaghetti sauce, ravioli. <laughs> uh -huh. For me, it helps find out where little extra little filigrees and, you know, just little uh, brush strokes vocally that you can give that maybe fatten up the jokes a little bit. The sink is clogged, so I was gonna pull out the drain plug. The sink is overflowing, so I was gonna pull out the drain plug. Man, which one is it? <laughs> I don't know, it was an alternate line. It's an alternate line, okay? We come in here and we get to play with these great lines and these great characters and it's so much fun. It's a storyboard driven show, not a script driven show. It's just all there in picture form. One important thing to know about recording an episode of a cartoon is that it has not been animated yet. We're gonna slate it and we're gonna run from the top, you guys. Say, who wants the first patty from our freshly cleaned grill? <sighs> I would like a Krabby Patty. Okay. And would you like one too, Squidward? No, I do not want a Krabby Patty. You know, we go off the script a lot and, you know, mess around and, uh, you know, just throw throw things against the wall and, and see what sticks. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Don't touch me. You know what I love in the storyboard? What? On that line, they have nasal. It really is kind of like doing a radio play or something. The drain plug! It's a myth. It doesn't exist. I've been a track in the drain for years. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that's easy. All I have to do is pull the drain plug. Good. Do the aha uh -huh underwater. Let me try to find comedy that might not be on the page or maximize the comedy that, that is on the page. Da, da. Come on, boys, spit it out. Okay, let's see what's under the hood. SpongeBob's laugh originally was supposed to be kind of uh, reminiscent of a dolphin, a porpoise. But a, but a porpoise, you know, does that stick its head above the water thing and bob its head up and down. Uh, also with SpongeBob, uh, everything is very, um, always through the nose. You have always have to take your, take your voice and stick it into the back of your throat, and then through here and through your nose. And it's been a real hoot getting to know y'all. When I'm performing, Patrick, um, there are many secrets that I could never divulge. I'll find left, you go right. Who read you that? I'm the right, Patrick. I'm clumsy, I'm goofy, uh, I make mistakes all the time, so I guess I'm a lot like Patrick. He's enormously entertaining to portray. I guess if I have anything in common with SpongeBob, it's, uh, you know, enthusiasm and really liking my work. You know, SpongeBob loves working at the Krusty Krab and he doesn't want to do any other job. And that's how I feel about uh, animation voiceover. Aye, aye, Captain. I believe SpongeBob continues to endure, um, primarily because of the nature of SpongeBob himself. The, the talent of Tom Kenny is, um, also enormous. Uh, it, it, we're very lucky to be working with him. He's a, he's a great, great talent, great person, and he brings all of his heart and talent to really every moment of the cartoon. You know, I feel really lucky, like to to be this character that's kind of infiltrated the pop cultural consciousness to, to such a big degree. It's a really fun experience. Ah! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> 